published work, so I know Mark has a set on that. Have you come out with an eight one yet, Mark? No. Well, I have. <laughs> it is to the printer right now, uh, but I don't have it yet. It's called uh, Daddy Drinks Because You Cry. <laughs> uh, but but what, I, what I owe this to, actually, I'm, not, I'm here to do, do magic, and, and really, uh, I owe it all to my uncle. My uncle showed me the first magic trick uh, when I was four years old. I remember it was Christmas Eve, and I was sitting in the living room in front of this great big roaring fire. And the reason I remember it so well is because we didn't have a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> now, my uncle was a stranger. You know, he really was. He used to do this trick with the Ritz cracker. Uh, you know, my uncle knew the exact month, day, and hour he was going to die. Well, the judge told him. <laughs> <laughs> I was his favorite nephew. I really was because... The family all went to see him, and when he's sitting there in the electric chair, the warden asked him if he had any last wishes, and he said, yeah, I want Pete to sit on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> now, I remember him real fondly, though. Every year on the anniversary of his death, I'd get a wreath and put it on the pewter box. So, <laughs> but anyway, he used to do this drink with the Ritz cracker. What he'd do, he'd put it in his hand like this, and then he'd go say, around and around and around she goes, what happens next, nobody knows. And then he'd reach up in the air, he'd grab a little whoople dust, he'd sprinkle over his hand like this, he'd open his hand and the cracker was gone. Now, being four years old, I thought that was amazing. He'd say, watch, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always called him watch. <laughs> he'd say, look, around and around and around she goes, what happens next, nobody knows. He'd reach up in the air, grab a little whoople dust, Sprinkle it over his hand like this and show me the crap <laughs> <laughs>